everyone. Welcome to our yoga and mindfulness session. I hope you're all really well and that you are ready to get your bodies moving, to focus on your breath and to do some relaxing as well. We are going to play Jenga today. So you will see there is a Jenga game behind me, which we are going to use in our main activity. But to start with, for our breathing, we're going to do some animal breaths. So we're going to start with lion breath. So for lion breath, I'd like you to come onto your knees, okay? And what we're going to do is take a big deep breath in through our nose, and then we're going to roar out of our mouths. So this is a really good breath to use if you're ever feeling cross, angry about something, maybe something hasn't gone right for you, something hasn't gone your way. This is a really good breath to use to get rid of that anger, anger or that frustration instead of taking it out on something else. Okay, so we're going to do five lion breath rules. Okay, so we're going to take a big deep breath in through our nose and we're going to go rah! Excellent. Okay, four more ready. Big deep breath in. Rah! Excellent, okay. Three more, ready? Big deep breath in. Rah! Good. Two more breaths, ready? Big deep breath in. Rah! And last lion breath. Okay, so make this your loudest roar. Okay, ready? Big deep breath in. Excellent, okay. Now we're gonna calm things down a little bit and move on to snake breath. So for snake breath, we're going to come into our good sitting pose. So our legs are crossed, bodies are straight, shoulders are down, and we're going to lay our hands on our knees with our palms facing up, and you might want to link your fingers and thumbs. And we're going to take a big deep breath in through our nose, and as we breathe out through our mouth, we're gonna make that that long s sound, okay? So we're going to do five snake breaths. Okay, ready? Big deep breath in. And out. Good, ready? Big deep breath in. And out. trying to make my breath on the way out just as big if not bigger than my breath on the way in so I'm challenging you at home to do the same see if you can make a really long sound ready three more snake breaths big deep breath in and out good two more big deep breath in and out. Okay, and last one. Make this your longest, your longest snake kiss. Ready? Big deep breath in. And out. Excellent, fantastic job. Okay, time to warm up our bodies. So we're going to start with our sun sequence to get moving, my turn and then your turn. Okay, stick, hands, reach to the sun, elephants, Proud horse. Dog. Cobra. And here's our snake hiss again. Dog.
proud horse. Elephant. Reach to the sun. Hands and stick. Fantastic. Okay, so today before we play our game of Yoga Jenga, we're going to look at five poses. Okay, so I want you to have a go with me at doing these poses at home. So the first pose we're going to look at is boat pose. And remember for boat pose there are two levels, two different ways we can do it. So for boat pose, we hug our knees, we lean back, our arms come up straight, and our legs come off the floor. Now this is level one. And if you came on our yoga adventure in last week's session, we went in the boat to get to the island. So we've got boat like this, or you can straighten your legs to come into boat here. Okay, level two, a bit harder. So if I face you, you're either here with your legs bent, and that's great, or legs straight. Now remember, there's no right or wrong. You do whatever you're comfortable with. So we have our boat pose, okay? We're also having a look today at dolphin pose. So for dolphin pose, this is a little bit like dog. Okay, we come into our dog, but we move on to our elbows. Okay, so dolphin pose is on our elbows. With our legs straight, bottoms in the floor, bottoms in the air, sorry. And feet on the floor. Good, holding it here. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Okay, now we're going down into the water. We've seen a boat, a dolphin. Now we're going to see a shark. So for shark pose, we're on our tummies and our chests are lifted and our legs are lifted and our arms are lifted. You might try and make a fin, a shark fin with your hands. Good. So we're holding it here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic, okay. We're going to move on next to dragon pose. So for dragon pose, we're on our knees. Okay, we're on one knee, and we're going to lift one foot, one leg out in front of us, and point our arms up to the ceiling. Okay, so dragon pose looks like this. Let's try it on one side first. Good, holding it here nice and still. Okay, let's swap sides. See if you can stay upright without wobbling over. Fantastic. Okay, and now we're going to have a go at slide pose. Okay, so for slide pose, we're coming onto our hands and our feet, but we're extending our legs out straight and lifting up our bottom, our pelvis, our stomachs, so it's a bit like crab, except we have our legs straight. Good. And just holding our slide, try not to let those stomachs drop. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Oh, excellent. Hopefully you're really feeling your arm muscles working really hard there to hold that balance. Okay. So our five poses, let's just remind ourselves of them. We have boat, we have dolphin, we have shark, we have dragon, and we have slide. Okay, so five poses that we're going to use in our Jenga game. Okay, so behind me you will see our Jenga game, and on some of the bricks that we pull out, I have written those five yoga poses, 
okay, on different colours. So I'm going to roll the dice, see which colour it lands on, pull out one of the bricks from the tower and hope that it doesn't fall over. So you've got to cross your fingers at home or wherever you are doing the session today that I don't knock the Jenga tower over. Okay, and then we'll see which yoga poses we're going to do. Okay, let's just move it in a little bit. So let me roll the dice. You can see on my dice, it's got different colors on each face. Okay, the first color I've rolled is orange. So I need to pull out an orange tile. Okay, I'm going to go for, I'm gonna go fairly safe I hope, and pull out a middle tile. I'm gonna go for one on the side. I'm gonna be brave and go for one on the side. So let's see, I'm trying just to use one hand. I'm trying not to use this other hand. Oh, now this is a pose that we haven't done yet today in this session, but you will know it. Let me show you. It's tree pose. So can you have a go now? at tree pose. Okay, so remember you might be here and that's great, you might be here and you might be here. So have a go at holding that balance for five, four, three, two, one and relax. Let's try it on the other side as well. See if we can balance and maintain that stillness of our body here. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, back to our game. Let's roll a different color. Let's try and get another color. Okay, we've got light blue, light blue. Okay. I'm gonna try and even out the towel by pulling one off the other side. Ooh. Okay. We've got shark next. Can you have a go at shark pose? So onto stomachs. I've got to be careful not to knock that Jenga tower down. Good. Coming up and holding it here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax down. Excellent work. Okay, let's roll our Jenga dice and see what's next. Okay, yellow, yellow. Okay, I'm going to go for one at the bottom and a middle tile. I'm gonna try and play safe and go for a middle tile. Trying to use just one hand. Try not to use this other hand. Okay, cross your fingers for me at home. I really don't want to knock the towel over yet. Not this early in the game. Okay, our next pose is dragon pose. Dragon, so show me your best dragon. Good, holding it here. Three. Two, one. Let's change legs, keeping our arms in the same position. Good, excellent. Holding it here. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Excellent. Okay, next colour is dark blue. Okay, dark blue. I'm going to go safe and stay fairly near the top. And go in the middle. Oh, it's getting wobbly. Okay, our next pose is dolphin pose. Dolphin, have a go at dolphin. So remember, it's like dog, except we're using our elbows. Good, I'm holding it here for five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Oh, that one is really quite challenging. 
for me, that dolphin pose. Okay, next color is red. Okay, red. Again, I'm going to stay fairly near the top of the towel and I'm going to go in the middle and see what we've got next. What pose haven't we done yet? Slightly. Oh, I can see it coming. Cross your fingers, but I don't knock it over yet. Oh, oh I just managed it. Our next pose is slide, slide pose. So coming up onto our hands and feet, lifting our bottoms and tummies, making sure our legs are straight, good. And holding it here, really strong. You're gonna feel your shoulders and your arms working. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And relax, okay, what color have we not had yet? Green, so we need to hope that I roll a green. Oh, I've rolled an orange, let's try again. Okay, it's green, ready? I'm gonna go really safe and stay with the top. We go nice and easy in our Jenga game. And we've got boat, boat pose. So remember, there are two levels. We're gonna lean back with our arms out in front of us. We're either balancing here or here, good. And holding it for five, Four, three, feel your tummy muscles working, your core muscles. Two, one, and relax. So that boat pose is a really good one to work our core muscles, to get them stronger. Okay, so we've got one brick from each colour, and I managed today not to knock the tower down, so I'm pretty pleased with myself. Okay. Let's move on to our relaxation. And actually we're going to do some mindfulness. And we're going to make something today in our mindfulness relaxation called a gratitude chain. A gratitude chain. So you will need some paper and a pen and probably some scissors and some sticky tape or a stapler I'm using. So I'll show you what I've got. And I'm pretty sure that you will have made a paper chain like this before. So I've got some strips of different colour paper, but it doesn't matter if you don't have colour paper at home. White paper, any colour paper or card works really well. So I've cut them into strips and I've got a pen ready to write on. And I'm actually going to use a stapler instead of sticky tape, but it's up to you. So you might need to pause me while you go and get these things. And then when you're ready, come on down to the floor to make our gratitude chain. Okay. Now, remember when we talk about gratitude, we're talking about remembering and thinking about things that we are really grateful for. Things that make us really happy and proud things that we feel really glad to have in our life and moments that we feel really glad for things that have happened that we feel really happy about and really grateful for and we talk about gratitude a lot in our yoga and mindfulness sessions because when we talk about things that are good in our life and that we're grateful for it makes us feel more positive and it helps to increase our well-being and our happiness. So the more we talk about, if you think about something every day that you're grateful for, and if you keep doing that for a long time, you start to feel happier and more positive. So we're ending our session today feeling really positive and happy and grateful for what we do have, rather than thinking about what we don't have or what we can't do at the moment. So, with your strips of paper, I want you now just to think of 
maybe two or three things that you are grateful for. Something maybe that's happened today or yesterday that you feel really grateful for. Maybe somewhere you went, maybe something you ate, maybe something that happened, maybe an activity that you did at home that you really enjoyed and you think, oh, I'm really grateful that we got to do that. So my first gratitude thought that I'm thinking about is I'm going to write, I'm grateful for the run I went on this morning because I was able to watch the sunrise and it was beautiful. So I'm going to write, I'm grateful for seeing the sunrise on my run today. And then on another strip, I'm going to write, I'm grateful for the yummy breakfast I had this morning after my run. It was a cinnamon bagel with peanut butter and banana on. And I'm really grateful that I was able to have such yummy food to eat for breakfast after my run to refuel me. So I'm going to write, I'm grateful for the delicious breakfast I ate this morning. Okay, and then I'm going to think of one more. Um, I'm going to write down that I'm grateful for this room that I have in my home to do yoga in and the space that I have to share my yoga practice with you. So I'm grateful for my yoga studio. And then when you've got a few ideas down, with your first idea, you're going to loop the strip. You're going to make the strip into a loop and either stick it or staple it together to make that loop. Okay. So here's my strip and I've inside is my idea that I've written down and I'm going to stick it and staple it together like that to make the first part of my gratitude chain. And then I'm going to get my next idea and loop it through and stick it or staple it together to make the next part of my gratitude chain. And then I'm going to loop it through with my third idea. I'm going to loop my third idea through and stick it or staple it. So now you can see my gratitude chain is starting to take shape. I've got three ideas and I would carry that on for as long as I want my chain to be and I'm going to hang it somewhere in my house. So have a go at making your own gratitude chain and think about all those things that you're really grateful for. Fantastic, okay. So once you've got a few ideas down, perhaps you could send me a picture of your gratitude chain. I would love to see how they look. Okay, now we're gonna finish by taking a big deep breath in and stretching our arms up to meet at the top in the middle and then breathing out as we bring our hands down to our heart. And I'm going to finish with a namaste and a big thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Starshine Yoga and Mindfulness session. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Playing our Jenga game, crossing your fingers for me and making our gratitude chains. Take care everybody, stay safe, bye bye.